What's up everybody, Dan here. Today we're going to be talking about easy 3D scanning using just a smartphone. Mobile 3D scanning is not just a way to capture and share memories in 3D, but it can also be used to create simple 3D assets or backgrounds. I've been using a free solution called Display Land from Ubiquiti 6 combined with Blender. Display Land app is super simple to use. Once you create an account, you start recording a video of the scene or object you want to capture. Once you have finished with the capture, the data is uploaded to the cloud and after some time you will receive a notification that your capture has been processed and it's ready to be used. At this point, within the app, you can do some minor editing with some very intuitive tools. Usually it's cropping and maybe creating a preview video or trailer share your creation with a very active Displayland community and eventually download your 3D model. And of course I'm going to be using Blender to import the OBJ file. At this point my 3D scan can certainly be used as is in stills and animated renders or once imported you may want to clean up the mesh and modify the geometry to enhance it or just deform it. Using the 3D scan as a blueprint, you can build a simplified clean model or a low poly model, an enhanced version, starting from the quick prototype imported, which will give you realistic proportions and scale very, very fast. Exporting your work to Sketchfab will enable the model to be used in VR. And why not merging the digital and physical worlds using your model in AR? The possibilities are really up to your fantasy, from capturing your favorite room and adding new objects to it, to scan your friends and make them dance forever. Today Display Land is an entry-level solution in the world of 3D scanning, but the goodness of the results certainly depends by the quality of the light conditions, the model of the phone you use, where better sensor and optics mean better meshes and texture captured, and of course how you use it. Some practice may be necessary to really master the tool. The app, even if it's still in development, it's very sleek, it's solid and reliable, with frequent updates on the store. I didn't experience any crash, and an average capture used roughly 10% of charge of an old iPhone 8 Plus, which is the one I'm still using these days. The concept of photogrammetry is nothing new, and there are available several commercial and free options, but Display Land is by far the easiest solution to get your first results. It fits your pocket, has a great supportive community, it's free, and most of all, it's a lot of fun to use. I'm looking forward to a dedicated iPad version and the Studio Cloud release announced on Displayland website. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to browse my creations on Displayland and let me know what is your experience with the app so far. See you next time. Ciao.